You're watching Unrelent Gaming. This is Beerus, the god of destruction. Make sure you subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and push the like button for me, or else I'll hakai you from existence. Oh, and do make sure to watch the entire video all the way through. And to follow Unrelent Gaming on both Instagram and Twitter. Please, enough. On to the video. As the fate of Universe 7 now rests on the shoulders of our heroes, following the events of Myrno now having to finally arrive on Earth, our heroes now have no other choice but to battle against Myrno in protecting Universe 7 from his wrath, but the question going forward is will our heroes be able to have the numbers advantage in somehow overtaking the rogue Andrew from destroying the entire universe, or will Myrno ultimately do to our heroes along with all of Universe 7 just as he had done before, and that's wipe out all of its warriors along with the universe before before having to somehow, in some way, make his way in finding the Grand Priest and the Omni Kings. Now, before we dive any further into this video, if you are new to the channel and, of course, have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball related, including its manga, anime, video games, fan animations, fan mangas, and more, in which would also like to be kept up to date with everything in regards to the Dragon Ball Super manga, the Dragon Ball Super anime, Dragon Ball video games, and any and all additional content within the Dragon Ball universe, then I do encourage you guys to head on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to always be notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto the channel, as well as giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply excited to see what the future holds for the Dragon Ball franchise, and with all that being said, I want to thank you all so much for your time, thank you all so much for supporting the channel, and now let's dive straight into the video. <laughs> As our story kicks off with Myrno having to oversee Kame's lookout with our heroes having to lay everything on the line by giving it everything they have to stop Myrno in his tracks, Myrno went on to acknowledge this by responding, so this will be your final act of rebellion to save your dying universe from extinction. The fear of losing power is a weakness of both the gods and mortals alike. I will show you, little by little, the true embodiment of limitless power. You may come at me as you'd like, for as many of you as you please. None of it will matter. How long, Whis? How long until you think Father will intervene to save you all as he did before? He must be very busy with those little brats if he had gone to abandon you all like this. I need a good warm-up anyway, so go on. All of you, fight for your universe's survival, for it will be the final fight that you worms will ever have the honor to wage. The harvest has begun. As with even Gohan shown having to turn towards Piccolo, Gohan went on to tell Piccolo, It's all or nothing, Piccolo. If we can't stop him, then at least we will distract him. It's been an honor, Gohan, Piccolo says. And as the two then went on to charge on up, Gohan then went on to respond, It's been an honor as well, Piccolo. Thank you for always being by my side. Here's to one last battle together. Now let's show him what we're made of. As both the androids and Majin Buu end up doing the same, Android 17 went on to respond, Let's go, 18. We'll catch him when he isn't looking. You know what you need to do, Buu. We're counting on you. Boo won't let you down, Majin Buu says. As even then, a gigantic aura is shown bursting up into the sky as Goku had finally unleashed the powers of Mastered Ultra Instinct. As even Goku is not looking to hold anything back himself, Goku then went on to comment, Now you will see my all. Everything we've ever been through has led us to this very moment. The ultimate test against the ultimate enemy. We won't let you get away with all of the innocent lives you've destroyed. If you want to rule over a new multiverse by ending our lives along the way, then we're going to make you work for every bit of it. And with Beerus also then shown having to close his eyes and doing the exact same thing, Beerus then went on to comment, my title and honor as a destroyer is on the line along with my entire universe. I must try. Even if I die, I refuse to accept a coward's death. I am Lord Beerus. 
god of destruction. You should have listened to me when you had the chance, Champa Beerus says. You were always too stubborn to take action, always trying to prove yourself as being the better sibling. Well, you did. Your sacrifice has helped buy us the time that we need to push back and survive against him. I promise to bring you back when it's all over, Beerus says. And as soon as Beerus is then shown opening his eyes, we then see how Beerus had once again tapped into the powers of Ultra Instinct, as Beerus was also ready to lay down his life on the line by then continuing, the angelic technique merged with the power of a god. My training is complete. I stand as the only destroyer to wield such a power, and with it, I will use everything to destroy you, Beerus says. As we then only see how both mastered Ultra Instinct Beerus and Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku are then shown side by side and looking up, Goku went on to ask, So you've mastered Ultra Instinct too, huh Lord Beerus? So, what do you think? Do you think we can find an opening on this guy with Beerus responding no? But we'll never truly know unless you give it your all, Saiyan. On my go. Pay attention, as we then observe how full-powered Super Saiyan 3 Broly is shown charging on in, Myrno had already recognized the entire situation at hand, as Myrno went on to respond, I want you to know that this anger of yours will not be what brings your friends back from the dead, mortal. This time, I promise you will not escape. And as soon as Broly is shown taking a shot as Myrno went on to move out of the way, Myrno continued to pester Broly on by telling him, You have already forfeited your life the moment you stood across to oppose me, beast. As it was due to Broly's overwhelming speed in moving towards Myrno in such a way, that as soon as Myrno had moved over to the side and causing Broly to go flying right past him, out of nowhere Primal Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta made his way behind Myrno as he then went on to address Myrno by telling him, You're going to regret coming back. This time you won't get away from me, as if I would have any reason to run away from you. Vegeta, I didn't forget about what you did to my clone, and as soon as Vegeta attempts to punch Myrno from behind, Myrno effortlessly without even having to look at him went on to catch Vegeta's punch by telling him, what did you think was going to happen once I found you? Before I smash your body into pieces, I want to see if my father's training had really made a difference for you. Maybe you're the one who knows where he's hiding, and as soon as Piccolo and Gohan are shown closing on in, while turning his head, Myrno then went on to ask, so the rats are sticking together now, are they? You wouldn't know anything about where the Grand Priest is hiding now, would you? Useless eaters! And as soon as Myrno then throws Vegeta right into Piccolo and Gohan, out of nowhere once again, Broly attempts to get behind Myrno and having to grab him, but this time around, Myrno had gone on to dematerialize in such a way that as soon as Broly attempted to grab him, the only thing that Broly had gotten out of that was air, as Myrno went on to tell him, you think I wouldn't remember? This may have worked with my clone, but this little trick will not work so easily with me. As out of nowhere, just as quickly as Myrno had dematerialized, he then went on to open up a portal and punching Broly in the face by telling him, you're a disgrace. As the sheer force of this punch had sent Broly flying back so much so, that it took Majin Buu and quickly having to act and grabbing Broly by telling him, Boo got you! As we then see how Myrno was once again shown stepping on through, Android 17 and 18 were already there waiting as 18 went on to comment, Quick! 17! He's stepping through! Now's our chance, 17 says. Whatever happens, don't stop blasting him. We need to draw his attention away from the others. Let's go, 18. As we only then see how Android 17 and 18 are shown continuously firing key blast after key blast after key blast, with all of these blasts shown making contact, Myrno had then gone on to turn his head and acknowledging the androids by commenting, Honestly now, I'm baffled. Artificially designed androids. What is any of this supposed to do? You don't deserve to breathe the same air as I do, let alone attempt to attack me. As out of nowhere, just as quickly as it happened, Myrno had gone to dash directly towards them as 18 shouted, Oh, holy crap! 17, watch out! Nah, damn it! 18, get out of here! But it was already too late because Myrno had gone on to double axe handle Android 17 across the head with so much force that as Myrno had proceeded to hit 17, he then went on to tell him, You have relinquished your life. Now watch from below as your world burns, and mind you, the sheer impact of this strike alone was so powerful that not only was Android 17 sent flying down below in crashing right through the lookout, but as quickly as it happened, Android 17's body had gone to hit the earth below as Android 18 shouted, Please don't die, 17! I can't believe it! This angel's too much! We couldn't even see him, he's 
so fast! As indeed he was, because just as quickly as it happened, Myrtle had then gone on to charge directly at 18 by telling her, Such filth does not belong among the highest of life forms. You will suffer before you leave this world, Myrtle says. As right then and there, before Android 18 can react, Myrtle had gone on in uppercutting 18 so hard in the gut that it literally had gone on to shatter all of her bones, including piercing her organs, as Myrtle then comments, Ah, the sound of bones breaking and organs being smashed together. Music to my ears. You will watch helplessly as I kill your friends one by one while you slowly die. As we get to see how 18 is clutching onto her stomach, her entire body shaking as 18 barely comments, I, I can't, my, my body, I'm... Help me! As we then take a look at seeing how 18 had then descended on down to the lookout, she then continues, He shattered my body from the inside. I can hardly breathe, she says. As in a very sinister way with Myrna looking down and smiling at the end result of this, Myrna then comments, That's right, mortal slave. Suffer. Every breath you take will be a painful reminder of who I am. But suddenly then, Myrna had gone on to detect something as he then continues, Thought you can sneak up on me, did you? The two of you have been a thorn on my side since sending my clones. As out of nowhere, mastered Ultra Instinct Goku attempted to kick Myrna from behind with Myrna having to lean forward by responding, I haven't forgotten about you, mortal warrior. No amount of improvement will come close to closing the gap between us. As it goes for you as well, as Mastered Ultra Instinct Beerus attempted to do the same thing by punching Myrna from behind and missing, it was painfully clear during this moment that Myrna had proven to be simply too fast for our heroes as Myrna then went on to continue, leaving your brother to die while you fled, coward. We'll just have to see about that, Goku says. And as soon as Goku had finally then managed to connect the punch to Myrna's face, Goku then went on to tell him, we didn't forget about you. If you think getting rid of us will be that easy, then you have another thing coming. Is that so, Saiyan, says Murno. He didn't even flinch, Goku says. His body... What's his body made of? As Myrna then had gone on and grabbing onto Goku's punch and slowly removing his fist from his face, he then went on to tell him, That one actually stung, but stinging me won't do you anything. As back down on Kame's lookout, as Goku has Myrna preoccupied, then they went on to heal 18 by telling her, Don't worry, 18. Please don't move. I won't let you die on us. This is far worse than I thought, he says. Please don't die on me. Hang in there. What an undeserving worm you are to be weird wielding the power of the angels, Myrno says. Another example of the many mistakes made by the gods that needs to be corrected. Because before you know it, Myrno had gone on to retaliate by punching Goku in the face by telling him, this is but a glimpse of what real power feels like. As with one strike to Goku's face, Goku's body was sent flying on down and going through Kame's lookout and onto the earth below, which was eerily similar to Android 17 with Goku making his way down. Dende went on to quickly turn around and asking, was that Goku? Goku? Oh no! Hang on, Goku! Oh, this is bad. Hang on tight, 18. You're almost healed. Hang in there, Goku. Don't give in! As we then get to see how Goku's body is flying uncontrollably down onto the ground, Goku went on to say to himself, I can't control my body from that shot! My attack was like nothing to him. I have to stop myself from falling any further. Otherwise, I'll go right into the Earth's core. Come on, body. The force is too much. Ugh, come on. Which, as Goku was struggling in maintaining balance in finding his composure to stop himself from falling on down, right before Goku's body was sent flying into the ocean and down below, Goku managed to stop himself just in the nick of time as he then grabbed onto his face in absolute agony by commenting, Ugh, my head. That couldn't have been his full power. I felt something deeper inside of him. This is bad, Goku says. We have to buy more time for the Grand Priest to arrive. We have to find another way, he says. As by now, each and every single one of them are now beginning to get picked apart by Myrna one by one, with Myrna shown effortlessly making easy work of our heroes, it was only then during that moment where Primal Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta was not done with Myrna because as Vegeta was shown charging on in, Vegeta was dead set on putting an end to Myrna as Vegeta went on to tell him, I am much stronger than I was when I nearly ended your clone. Let's see how good your memory is. And with Vegeta then shown spawning 
summoning an energy sword, he then went on to charge on him by telling Murno, I don't care how powerful you claim to be, I'm going to put an end to your annoying existence once and for all. Good luck pulling yourself out of this one. As the second Vegeta had gone on in swinging the sword directly at Murno, Murno had went on to catch the sword by responding, my memory is just fine. I do remember this little weapon of yours that you used to nearly end the clone Murno's life. But the clones are one thing, mortal, and I am another. This universe is putting up quite the effort to keep itself from being destroyed, isn't it? I know you were made aware of me by my demented father. This sword of yours annoys me, Murno says, as he then proceeded in crushing Vegeta's energy sword in his hand, but out of nowhere behind him, Mastered Ultra Instinct Beerus was shown charging on in by shouting, Gotcha! Hold him right there, Vegeta! You're too slow, you dirty animal, Murno says. And with Murno once again having to sidestep out of the way as Beerus came dashing on in, with all of the momentum that Beerus had in his attempts of punching Murno, Vegeta had just barely avoided Beerus's punch by telling him, Lord Beerus, where did you damn it, Vegeta? Stay out of my way! I almost knocked your head clean off! I don't understand why you creatures continue to fight despite knowing the odds against you, Murno says. You are all powerless to do anything against me, but yet you still continue to fight among one another in hopes of winning. Gather in numbers all you want, it won't make a difference. I will use you all as punching bags to warm up this body before the grand finale with the Grand Priest and those ridiculous Omni Kings. And as Vegeta and Beerus are then shown standing side by side with both Majin Buu and Broly joining them, Murno then went on to continue, but I know that there is something that you aren't telling me. I know you know where they're hiding, and I will beat the information out of your lifeless bodies to get it. Otherwise, I'll force them out of hiding through you. Either way, there is no possible scenario where any of you survive against me. Now let's see which one of you will be the one who squeals. Go ahead, Murno says. Step forward. And don't worry, I won't tear you apart immediately. First, I'm going to torture you. Then I'm going to make you feel every bit of suffering as I felt during my exile. Now, which one of you wants to go first? And with Myrno then shown having to call our warriors forward, it was only then during that moment where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of Myrno vs. the Multiverse manga chapter special then comes to a close. Now, it would appear as though the overall situation for our heroes is extremely dire considering the overall point that even with all of them having to gang up on Myrno and collectively attack him together, nothing seems to be working, whereas, mind you, not everyone is using their full power right off the gate because they're trying to kind of assess and figure out a way in seeing if Murno does have any opening, which the question going forward will be, will our heroes be able to last long enough in holding Murno at bay before the Omni Kings and the Grand Priest arrival, or will they somehow manage to put all of their power and their numbers advantage together in their efforts of stopping Murno and putting him down for good, or the likely scenario is will Murno finally do to them what he had done to the other universes in completely wiping them out by obliterating each and every single one of them, as of course we are currently working on the next manga chapter right now, which should be available on the channel as soon as we end up meeting our like goal, to which right now the like goal for us to get to manga chapter number 17 is going to be 13,000 likes. A very simple like goal to achieve because all you guys really have to do is give this video a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below, and that's essentially it. So everything now is going to gradually get more intense as we progress our way forward in this because Myrno, by his own words, is looking to first torture them and seeing if he can get any information out of them and if he doesn't and nobody ends up squealing the way Myrno wants them to then ultimately it doesn't really matter because he's still going to wipe them out anyway so again I can't wait to show you guys the next manga chapter which is only going to be more intense that much more intense than what we've seen go down in this manga chapter so I can't wait to present that to you guys so again thank you all so much for watching thank you all so much for being here if of course you guys just so happen to be new to the channel then I do encourage you guys to go on over and smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to never miss a single video posted on the channel. Tune back in for more and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy guys and have a great day. Peace! This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say unrelent gaming? Oh my god. The
fucks up on put on some clothes. Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes. But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge. <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm the biggest Unreal Ed gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> K -k -k